Hi everybody, welcome. Yeah, I'm putting on some handles at the moment onto these tankards that you saw me throwing in the last clip. I put about 30 tankards here that I want to uh, apply handles to, which I've already pulled the handles as you can see here. Why don't we just bring the camera down a little bit onto the works table here so I can show you these handles because if you can see these uh, you see the, the cross section of the handle how the handle is actually the highest point of the handle is in the middle and then they slope down on, the, on each side like that okay so when you pull your handles um, place them on a board pull the board over the edge of the table so that you can you can chop the handles off you see so if you look down the board there you'll see that they're chopped off um, not exactly at right angles not exactly at right angles but they're fairly because that's the point there where they're going to butt up against against the side of our, our tankard you see so we want to make sure that the the angle here on the end is going to correspond with that you see it's a small point but it's actually an important point <laughs> let's put this back on the tripod here okay so yeah as you can see I've got some here under plastic you see so what you want to do is have some good good plastic um, ready now I get this, I use this kind of plastic, which is a, uh, it's kind of quite fine, you know, you don't want heavy gauge plastic, you want a fine gauge. So I take off of this roll as much as I need and, and I use that to, to cover my pots. So it's important that you've got some decent plastic so you can cover your pots when you need to, you see because um, you may not be able to get around to necessarily putting the handles on all at the same time and you may have to hold some of them back so, so have some good plastic ready for that okay so I'm taking from that board there here is one okay now this is exactly as it as is thrown I haven't um, I just want you to see warts and all. This is exactly as I've thrown it here. And you can see the angle that was put in there with my throwing stick when I was finishing the pot. That bevel, you see? That bevel there on the bottom. Now that's actually really important because now when I come to put the handles on the first thing that I'm going to want to do is when I get the the tanker the first thing is I'm going to want to clean the bottom because I'm not going to be putting these back on the wheel and, and and trimming them so I'm just gonna take a damp sponge okay and then just go around the corner like that you see with that with that damp thumb And that's it. Finito. No more. That's all you have to do. And that's actually quite a light tankard. It's not heavy. It was thrown a pound, five and a half inches high. And there's quite a good weight uh, distribution of clay. It's not heavy. It feels, it feels right. So, so the next thing we're going to do is now the, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a spiral here on the bottom, you know, the because I use a, a, a twisted cut-off wire. So that leaves, that leaves that pattern. So I always put the handle there, you see. So right above that, up there, is where I'm going to want to dip your finger in the water till a drop, you can, you can see that drop there running off the end of my finger. Okay, so you put that there, like that, 
and then use your fingernail to scratch okay that wetted area in other words you create the slip right there where you're working don't apply separate slip from somewhere else let's see if we can show you that all right that's just done with my finger so then what, what, what we're going to need to do is put him down there on the banding wheel here so get yourself a banding wheel you've got to work off a banding wheel you see take one of these handles okay and there he is all right he's about I don't know five six inches long something like that so then take your knuckle here take that knuckle holding him like that just butt the knuckle into the into the end of the handle you see like that so what that does is it widens the end of the handle you see it gives it gives it a little bit of a clay a bit of extra clay there that you're going to find useful in a moment so now take that handle offer him up to the scored area all right now it's best to do this with the the mug or whatever you're doing on the the banding wheel all right don't have it like floating around in the air so just give him a, sh a little firm wiggle all right and then till you till you've joined him now I'm going to show you what I'm doing I'm going to have to move it off the banding wheel to show you this but at, and make sure you keep this handle always supported all right so now with my index finger underneath you see like this make that join and with my with my thumb on the top you see making that join there in other words what I'm doing is I'm taking the soft clay of the handle and smearing it you see into the body of the of the tanker so always keep this supported don't never let it droop or drop now I'm going to take it to the vertical like that, okay. Dip him in the water pot, dip your hand in the water pot, okay, and now start to give a few what I would call uh, refresher pulls. <laughs> I'm not really pulling the handle, I'm just freshening up, up the handle after I've been manhandling it or woman handling it if you're a woman. So there you go now so yeah I've I've ref I've refreshed him yeah he's hanging there now what we're gonna do well the next thing is what we're gonna have to do is take the end of it like that and just bring the bring the tankard back up to the vertical but hold the end of the handle as you do it you see got that now lower the handle so you think you've got the right size here for your for your fingers all right and then just make sure he's straight very easy to put these on crooked if you're not paying attention so now just go over that join one more time like that underneath and on top okay all right now now we've got to finish it here on the bottom so you want to get your fingers into a right state of of wet or dry you don't want them too wet you don't want them too dry so they may they may be just a little bit on the wet side so you see you want to wear an apron like I'm doing you see this little damp patch here that's because every time I dry my thumb there you see on that now I'm going to take my my moist thumb but not slippery wet all right and just take that clay and smear it away like that you see that okay I smeared it away to the left but now I've got to smear it away to the right so now I'm going to take like that you see apply pressure and push like that you see 
Just like that, easy. All right, now the little tail here, just lift him up. Now what we're gonna do here is flick him off, you see? Like this. Ooh. Throw him down over there. So, if you need to just go over it a little bit, you can, but don't overwork it down there. You see, you want to get that rather nice naked clay worked feel without a lot of, you know, fussing. Yeah, you don't want to fuss it. Okay, so now I'm looking at it. So you want to look at it like that. And it's very easy, if you're not careful, that the handle here is maybe going more one way than the other. You may want to just put your hand there and just push it a little bit like that. You see? Sorry if the lighting is not brilliant in here. Okay. All right. So that's it. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it down here next to the others. And I use one of these yogurt one of these yogurt cartons because after you put on a handle it may not be 100% round anymore he may have gone out of shape you see so while he's on the on the wear board I'm just showing you here for now but just drop that in you see and just give him a just a gentle push down nothing nothing too vigorous but just just a little gentle push you see you see how he's he's very very slightly tapered isn't he so that's just perfect. It just fits in there. Find the right kind of car yogurt carton for whatever you're doing, you see. Keep, keep the lid on, though, because that keeps it rigid, all right? So you just do that a few times, and that'll put it, make it go back to being round again. Okay? Let's do one more. Nothing like repetition, is there? You've got to see things you see more than once. Okay, so, again, I'm going to just dampen my finger, my thumb, go around the base like that on the on the corner there where you've put already put that that bevel, you see? You see if you don't have a bevel there, if you don't have a bevel, bevel, uh, then you've got a hard corner here. That's very difficult to thumb off, isn't it? A hard corner like that. So by putting the bevel there, we blunten the corner. So that's, that's actually really good. Another thing though, having a, a bevel there, it makes the corner stronger, you see. A sharp corner is a weak corner because it's easy to chip. Easy to chip. So you always put these bevels on the bottom of your pots if, if they're not trimmed, okay? Okay, so there's, there's the spiral, there it comes to so we're going to put the handle up there, right above the, the termination of the spiral. Scratch it like that, you see. Okay, next handle. Here he is. Now, I pulled these handles before lunch. Now, if you find that they're getting um, a little bit too dry, what you can do is... Just give them a spray with a sprayer over lightly and then put again a piece of this plastic just over the top of the handles all right and if they are getting a little hard harder than you want you don't want them hard they've got to be still nice and pliable but if they are getting a little bit on the hard side or maybe you forgot them or they got left there you know um, that'll bring them back again into a decent moist state okay all right so taking my knuckle just spreading the end of the the handle here okay take that handle offer it right up to the scored area like that use my using my index finger you see on the bottom like that and then using my thumb on the top like this you see just smear and spread that soft clay into the into the tankard okay 
Keep him vertical, and remember, never let him droop. Dip him into the water and dip your hand into the water. And now, okay, we're going to mine the camera or mine the viewfinder. All right, pull him, refresh him, because that's all it is. We don't really, we're not really pulling him because we've already pulled him, haven't we? Just giving him, getting him to look lively again because he might look a bit bent out of shape. Take the end, take the hat tankard back to the vertical, all right? Now let that fall to the side. Now you have to judge, judge that right, you see, because you don't want to let it fall and then think, oh, that wasn't very clever because it's now, it's too big or it's too small. I can't get my fingers in or it's sticking out like, you know, looking ugly, like the battleship Bismarck, something like that. Well, look at that handle, you see, see how, see out of, sh let me just show you that. I don't know if you can see, but that handle is not, is not quite straight, you see. Just goes to show how easy it is to make a mistake. So, you can just gently, you do want to, that's it. All right, so aim for a nice flowing handle. So like the handle is like growing out the side of the pot, you see, growing out and around like this. That's why we want to pull handles. We don't want to preform them on the bench and let them go all stiff and then stick them on because they kind of look dead, you know, they don't look like they're alive. They don't look like a, like the bow, the bow of a tree that is growing. They look like a bit of dead wood off the side of a tree. So, that's why I want to keep your keep your handles, let's say, sprightly. <laughs> keep them sprightly. If you know what that means. So again, that thumb. Wear an apron. Dry that thumb a little. Get that moisture feeling just right. You know, on on your on your thumb. So we're going to take that clay. We're going to smear it away like that. And one more time, like that. And that little tail, away. Okay. Yeah. See, now this guy is a little bit, the actual mug is a little bit slightly on. No, not really soft, but just a little bit easy for me as I'm holding it here. Inadvertently, I can, you know, I can squeeze it out of shape if I'm not careful. All right, so. See, so I'm tapping the underside, so that makes the handle flop down. Can you see that? By tapping like that makes the handle go down. Okay, okie doke. Okie dokie. Yeah, you want to make these. Now let's have a look at that St. Ives tankard that I showed you the other day. Just to. Why don't we do a sort of bit of comparison? Yeah, I mean, they, they are slightly different the way I, I do it, I suppose. But um, let me just get these in the, in the, in the viewfinder here. Um, so that's the St. Ives tankard. Uh, that's mine. Um, similar, I, I don't put a scroll on mine or a thumb rest. I mean, I do sometimes. You can do that. Um, it just makes it into a more expensive tankard when you do that because it just take, takes more time. I quite like it with the uh, with the scroll and the thumb rest. It makes it look kind of medieval, doesn't it? So that's quite easy to do that to add the um, the scroll. Well, the little the scroll is easy to do. I think I've showed you this before. The scroll here, that little bit that I flick off, that I, sh I just showed you, that I just did, the little bit here that was on the end, you know, 
Well, basically, what you do is you you just you just take that and and you roll him up. You see, instead of flicking him off, you roll him up, so he sits there like that. Yeah. Okay, so there he is. Give him a good sideways squint so that you're getting the shape right. Okay, so he goes back down on the wearboard here. Take my yogurt pot, put him in and just get that shape right. And so on and so forth. <laughs> And the next, and the next, and the next. So, you see, when you come to doing this part of, of the finishing off, you then realise what a good job or a bad job you did of finishing the bottom of the pot with your throwing stick. That is why it's so vitally important to have a really decent throwing stick. Okay? Now... You can make your own throwing stick, they're easy to make, or, or you can order one from me, as you can see i got a load here, and what I do is I write keep practicing on it and I sign it and I put linseed oil on it. So you can get one of those or you can make one yourself, okay? What you need is a 45 degree angle here and you want it nice and crisp down the side here not rounded nice corners here because that actually helps when you want to uh, clean off the pot if you've got a nice a nice sort of decent square edge here that actually helps to take the the slurry off the side of the pot okay you can find those uh, sticks uh, the throwing sticks on my website. Good. Well, there we are. We have we've done another short teaching session there on on um, applying the handle to the tankard. Now, what I do suggest you do is once you've put your handles onto your tankard or whatever it is, okay. You're going to put them on the wearboard, and what I suggest you do is take a piece of plastic and lay it over the top just to slow down the drying because cracking can occur at the top here and around the bottom where they joined. But by putting a piece of plastic there, you're going to slow that down. And when you slow it down, you reduce the risk factor of cracking. Okay? So please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We've got uh, workshop dates there for this coming year. Um, there's a lot of vacant places there, so you can take your pick. Uh, if there's a place that you want a, a date that you like, just write to me and say, I'm wanting this date, is that okay? And I'll tell you if it is or it isn't. It, it is at the moment, I think everything is okay. We've got a few bookings. But, um, yeah, come for a hands-on, keep practicing pottery experience here, here with me in this studio. We only take five people. I can't take any more than that. So you get plenty of attention, okay? And um, you, should, you should learn quite a lot, I think. It's, it, it's in the details, isn't it? The little things that make the difference. But they are all important. The little things are important. And, uh, you know, help you to throw and learn to throw and pull up that clay. Okay, folks, well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, simonleachpottery.com is the website. And, hey, keep practicing. God bless you all. See ya. Bye-bye.